Welcome to Junk Does Penny Stocking, live trading with Tim Sykes and Tim Rattani. Live trading especially from Tim Sykes, sweet CEI trade, let's go into it. Uh, we have a real treat today, Tim Rattani and Tim Sykes live webinar together and we have Tim, Gr Tim Sykes with a live trade on CEI, check it out. You don't need to trade every day. Remember that, okay? I know that you have money sitting. I know that you want to act, but when there's nothing truly clear, you don't have to. Pixie tried to spike and failed. IZA tried to spike and failed. CEI is the one that's spiking, 61. Yeah, that's quite the ramp. I would love CEI to have a dip. I don't want to chase it now that it's gone up 11 cents. I would love to see a dip, but it's not now 65. Damn. Yeah, I want to short this. CEI explosion. So I don't want to chase it, but that is the one that is uh, running. I would love to see a big dip down in the mid 50s. I would try to buy that dip. Because it's proven that it can spike, but at the same time, I just don't want to chase it. Why is the EA held low twos again? It's dead to me. It's more dead to me than your dead brother. Name the movie. Anybody? Sounds Godfather. Is Zoolander! It? Zoolander, okay. That's about as far off as I could get on that guess. I really want to buy a dip on CEI and it is not dipping. Now 68. Oh my god. Awesome spike. <laughs> SNES is spiking too. So CEI yeah, looks a little toppy now at 66. Come on, take out those 65s. There we go, big seller at 66. Give me some dipping. New low a day, I had ZEA. I had never added to that Woo. short. I was really hoping for more pop than that. I ZEA failed bounce, so no play for me there. Here's some dip on CEI for you. Where? Got down to 60. Uh, was it? It's quick. Try to get some on a dip. I did just, wow, that's a bigger dip now. I located a bunch of CEI and I have to get a chance to use it. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of a dip on CEI. I like this. I got my average at 59. 15,000 shares. Let me try to get a little bit more. It's already bouncing. Ah, this is why it's tough. So quick, 0.59, 15,000. Bought the dip on this runner. Friday morning, especially goals to make 10 to 20 percent on the bounce. I hope it can go further. I really want it in the 70s. I want it in the 70s too. So I bought CEI on the dip. I only got 15,000 out of the 20,000 that I wanted. Um, small position, you know, like $8,000. But the day high is 68. So when I buy it on the dip, I'm buying it specifically so that it can try to get back to the day high. Maybe it tops out. Um, you know, maybe it, it breaks out. I don't know. Um, the whole key is buying on the dip and trying to sell into strength. And here we are at 66. Okay. 
Looks like it's having problems right at the former highs. Want to try to be patient, like Tim Gratani taught me. But I don't know how to be patient because I'm me, oh me, Timothy. Change the date. We're filming all of this, FYI, guys, so you'll be able to see our intense reactions and our pasta eating. <laughs> Pixie is coming down. IZEA down to 190s. Wow. Yep. Never had it. I'll get a chance. It's a long is still day. Short. I'll get a chance. Tingratani is still short at, uh, what are you short at? 230. 230. So yeah, you have to play four grand. CEI is in the low 60s. Not really bouncing as much as I wanted. It's a big move. A 60% move is a lot. Big volume, though. Big, big volume. I'm, I'm not touching it yet. I'm, I'm hoping for one more shove. I want the shove. Give me the shove. That big rebound day I had, I think, last week, it topped out near a dollar. So, I mean, if we could get anywhere near that, I'd be just jumping for joy. This is just the first green day, too, on CEI. So it, it has a history of spiking for multiple days, which I like. Big volume, somewhat near the, the day high. So do we put in the new tape? Yeah, and uh, we'll just wrap it up there because we're really going on. But it's very interesting to see the conflicting, uh, the different approaches. And also you see exactly how Tim plays his trade. He's looking for uh, volume, uh, generally a low float, multiple days spike at first green day. And he's getting it on a dip. And that is, that's the magic. And just as a little end, uh, this is the type of stuff that you get in the challenge, the kind of the weekly webinars from Tim Sykes, Tim Gratani, sometimes Michael Good. Tim Bowen, Mark Crook, and sometimes together. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. And uh, market's a bit slow. It's been a bit rocky for for me for a while now. But I'm just going to keep on keep on pushing through.